Hello there, my name is John Keane, and today I'm holding a baritone bowed psaltery. For those of you that don't know what a bowed psaltery is, you bow it much like you would bow a violin, but it's laid out way different than what a violin would be. It's almost laid out like a piano keyboard. Uh, if you'll notice the consecutive posts along the bottom, that would be like the white keys on the piano. And across the top you have group of two, group of three, group of two, group of three. That would be the black keys on a piano. Uh, the only big difference between the way this is laid out and the way a piano keyboard is laid out is your high notes are on this end and your low notes would be over here. So that part's kind of backwards, but otherwise, if you have a concept of a piano keyboard, you can follow this pretty easily. Now, Karen and I are always looking for neat sounds to go along with Mountain Dulcimer and Native American flute. And one of our New Year's resolutions is we're going to try some new things. Well, Folkcraft makes a fine psaltery, and I'm tickled to death to, to be messing with it. I've only been playing with it a few days. Um, and that will probably show when I play it because even though I'm getting familiar with where the notes are, the bowing and actually even the amount of rosin to get on a brand new bow can be tricky sometimes. So I'm still a little scratchier than I would like to be. But I did record a demonstration and I hope you enjoy it. Well, that was my demonstration. I hope I didn't chase anybody off. It's really a mesmerizing instrument when it's, when it's played well, and hopefully I'm going to get better at it. Like I say, the bowling right now is still the thing with me, trying to get exactly the amount, right amount of rosin, the right amount of pressure on the bowing strokes. But otherwise, I'm having a ball with it, and like I say, Folkcraft makes a great psaltery, and I hope you'll give one a shot. Take care.